In today's video we talk about Kaiser and what I like about Kaiser. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk. This is the second episode in my series of my favorite brands, knife brands, knife manufacturers. But first of all, um, I want to say something else. Uh, last week, of course, I had the first year anniversary video. Um, and I announced the giveaway and I got a lot of nice, kind, awesome uh, reactions on that video. So I want to thank you very much, all of you who commented, who joined the giveaway and also quite a bunch of shout out videos for uh, for my channel so I'm very grateful for that so I want to thank you all of you I want to thank all of you second uh, a reminder for all the new subs from last week last weeks I have two running giveaways you still can join the first is the 999 sub giveaway uh, the price is a very nice collector's box with very limited uh, edition of San Renmu of, of a 3 San Renmu 710 uh, iterations, very special. Uh, this one r runs till the 99, 999 subs have reached and I think now I'm already over 970 subs, so not long to go, so you have to be in a hurry to join that giveaway. And the second giveaway is the first, an first year anniversary giveaway. As I told in my video, uh, December the 5th, 2400 hours, this giveaway will be closed, and that's uh, Central European time. Um, so a few days to go and that giveaway will be closed and the first prize is a wild steer fixed blade. Not often seen but very good quality, pretty expensive knife. So if you want to join one of those giveaways better be in a hurry. So um, Kaiser what I like about Kaiser, why is it in one of my, one I, why is it belong to my favorite knife brands? I think Kaiser hit the market three, four years ago. I, I don't, I can't recall exactly. And I have, I had quite a bunch of Kaiser models. I don't know exactly how many, but I think I owned 40 different models of them. Um, Kaiser hit the market with very high quality uh, knives and um, against an affordable price, price point, affordable compared with all the Western knife brands, uh, European and USA knife brands, uh, Kaiser, located in China, uh, came to the market with uh, S35 VN, full titanium, etc. Uh, etc. Et and price level was half the price level of the well known brands out of the USA and Europe. Um, now, the, now these days Kaiser has uh, three lines, uh, the Vanguard series, that's the, the budget line, 
of course still a lot of money for for a lot of people 60 70 80 euro dollar for a knife but very high quality uh, good materials good build etc so the Vanguard series and then they have their bladesmith series the collaborations with well-known knife designers knife makers and then they have their inline in-house sorry in-house design and uh, also uh, high-end materials s 5 vn full titanium etc um, i think now these days they are pretty famous for their bladesmith series and their vanguard series and a bit less for their in-house designs and yet i have to tell you i got rid of almost all of my bladesmith, bladesmith uh, models this is an example this is the bad dog it's a mat uh, sorry, a Cucciara, Cucciara uh, design. He also, I think he designed four models for Kaiser. And these are awesome blades, awesome knives, great fit and finish, premium materials, uh, nothing, nothing to complain except for me the framework they are building on for me it got very very boring all those gray anodizations the round shapes the round rounded corners edges etc etc it became very boring for me so most of them I got rid of. Vanguard series, um, I got rid of all my models from the Vanguard series. Good knives, nothing to say about that, nothing to complain, but just not for me. But still, Kaiser is one of my favorite knife brands, and that's mainly because of their in house design. And then I talk about the more funky designs, in my opinion, with very uh, nice anodization work. Most of the time they use very thick slabs of titanium, so these are the more heavy knives. Funky anodizations, um, funky designs and it's more the kind of knife I like. It's just me. For example this one. This is the I hope camera focus the KI 44 I can't see it. 4424A2. So there are more iterations of this model, hence the A2. But such an awesome knife. Heavy build. It's real hard use knife. I've pocketed this knife a lot, and you hardly see wear. I should have cleaned it before showing but and another example of more funky this very busy anodization a lot of people don't like it I happen to like it I don't know if the model number shows This is the 
four, four, two, one. A bit of oil reflecting the sunlight. This one, every knife uh, owner, every knife collector will be bitten once in a while or kissed. This one bit me with the most nasty cut I ever had. Very deep, but also very clean. A lot of people would have hurried to the first aid, but to uh, to get it stitched. But it was such a clean cut. I let it bleed for half an hour, and then it was totally clean. And then I wrapped it up with some bandage, and within a week it was completely healed. So this, these are the kind of designs I like from Kaiser. This one, for example, pretty funky design with its tanto blade shape. The anodization. And they are always big, or this one, very big knife, I think around 25 centimeter. And I think the blade is about 10.2, 10.4 inch, maybe 12 centimeter or something like that. Originally this one was also had this kind of anodization, but this one was um, bead blasted. And all, they all have big slabs, thick slabs of titanium, are very heavy, and I happen to like the more heavier knives. And this is an exception. This is one of the Bladesmith series, a collaboration with Dirk Pinkerton, the Nomad. But those of you who follow my channel for a longer time know, are probably aware of the fact that I like Persian styled knives. So this one is an exception on those Bladesmith series. One of the exceptions, by the way. Gorgeous knife. So, Kaiser. I hope Kaiser will do more in-house designs in the future. Probably they concentrate more on the Bladesmith series, the Vanguard series, I think so. Because most people, I think, like those two lines the most, but I really hope they will continue their in-house designs as well. What's your opinion about Kaiser? I'm very curious. So I'm looking forward to your comments about your uh, opinion about Kaiser and which line do you like the most and why. Okay. So don't forget two running giveaways. Don't forget to comment what you think about Kaiser. And if you like this video please like it. If you like my channel please subscribe. That's it for now. Bye bye.